Нашли, мы нашли. Another morning in Zaporizhia has started with a Russian missile attack on residential buildings. Rescue services have little time to find survivors, as debris and smoke present an ongoing threat. Various rescue units are present on site, some fighting the fire, some demolishing parts of the building to prevent it from collapsing. Today the K-9 rescue unit Antares is working in the area, helping to find those under the rubble. Although the dogs were supposed to rest after the previous expedition, they're back in Zaporizhia on a new mission. Лариса established in Taurus in 2008. At first, the volunteer organization focused on teaching people how to train their pets. But then they started a search and rescue program to help find missing people. With the beginning of the war in 2014, the team began to look also for the dead. На жаль, на сьогодні наші собаки більше мають попит як собаки з пошуку людських тіл та рештків з моменту повномасштабного вторгнення живих людей. Ми не знаходили не разу. Це Корге Елтон. Він шукає людей під завалами, атестован на міжнародний клас Б з пошуку живих людей та також добре працює по тілам загиблих та різним решткам. After the site is secured by the rescue teams, the Antares unit starts to examine the location. The chances of finding someone alive are very small, as the flames are still smoldering from under the debris. This means that those who may have survived the strike are at risk of suffocating from the smoke. All three dogs have given a signal that they've picked up a smell of a dead body. Um, we are waiting on the um, state rescuing team to see if this information would be confirmed. The dogs traced three more bodies under the rubble. Next morning we found out that all three bodies were excavated. K9 unit starts very early. It's 7 in the morning and we've been on the road for one hour. Um, we are on the way uh, to Donetsk region uh, and there we are meeting the soldiers unit. It's called Simix. This unit specializes in the search of the fallen soldiers. Natalia lost her son at the end of April. Since that time, she had no rest. She has been trying to find any information about him and even contacted the Russians, who gave her the coordinates of his remains. Just after this area was liberated, she came here with the Simic and Antares units to find her son. Usually, the fallen soldiers are evacuated straight from the battlefield, but some are reported missing. That's when the Simic search and recovery group starts their mission. Russians have left thousands of mines behind them, making these searches extremely dangerous. 
This is a position that uh, belonged to Ukrainian army and then was taken over by the Russians. And we are here because uh, the mother of a fallen soldier uh, has the coordinates and um, supposedly we can find the body of her son here. And now the soldiers are uh, checking this area for the mines and later the K-9 unit will be let in. Just a couple of minutes ago we heard the sound of explosion and um, it was our sappers who stepped on mine. Now we are pro providing them with the first medical aid and then we'll be, they will be transported to the hospital. The search went on. The team examined the location fully and discovered the three bodies that were there. For the Antares team, it's a race against time, as winter is getting closer. Dogs' noses are too sensitive for the cold, which means they have to stop searches until the snow melts away. Zhenya Melnik, United 24 Media.